<laughs> yeah, but I think it's yeah, it's nearly closed now, and um, yeah, hopefully, I'm I'm not sure about that. You know, it now it depends on the details. Sure. You know, um, if we will uh, see him now here also in the U.S. Okay. Uh, maybe coming to the team and introducing himself to the team. Maybe he will play. Um, but first of all, you know, we have to do all the all the details. And uh, yes, I think. Uh, he's an um, he's a great defender. He's he's very young, but he has this ability, uh, which we're seeking. He has the ability to lead to lead uh, a team, and that's very that's very important. And you know you have to you have to have both in a team. Yeah, you have to have a good good offensive, you know. But you have always to find the balance. Right. And I think in the uh, when I look. Uh, the last uh, two or three years, the last seasons, I think um, uh, our opponents, they scored, you know, they scored always too much goals against mm. us. So maybe now we have uh, a guy who can, uh, yeah, who can uh, strengthen our defense. Was that one of the recognitions is understanding that the, the, the clean sheets haven't been yeah. what you would have expected, you know, from a Bayern Munich over the last <laughs> couple of years? Yes. Goals were free flowing, but yeah. having to win yeah, yeah, yeah. three two four two. No, you know. I don't like that because I was a goalkeeper. Well, of course, yeah. I was a goalkeeper. I don't like four three or yeah. five four. But you know, the audience likes it very much. But not, <laughs> but not me. Uh, not me as a goalkeeper. No, as I said before, you need both. You know, you uh, we want to score a lot of goals. We want to play a very uh, attractive, a very offensive, uh, offensive game. Right. But you know, um, it is very important to keep to keep clean sheet. You know. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's why we are uh, strengthen our defense. Let's talk a little bit about just kind of the, the Bundesliga structure. And with the 50 plus one, does that kind of put Bayern at a little bit of a disadvantage in European competitions that they don't maybe have the finances to, to spend of a Man City or a Liverpool or? No, from a Bundesliga from a pure Bundesliga point of view, it's not a disadvantage for Bayern Munich. It's an advantage yes. for yep. Bayern Munich. But we are talking, you know, in Germany, we are talking about the competition. So that we have, because people, you know, they ask themselves, what can we do in the German Bundesliga to, to have more uh, competition for the, for the championship? The Bundesliga is, I think, it's a, it's a great league, you know. But if you want, if you win uh, ten times in a right. ten, ten times in a row the German Bundesliga, we um, must talk about some changes, you know. And maybe you know to abolish uh, the mm -hmm. fifty plus one rule could be one um, option. But you know, that's uh, sure. that's so ideologic, and right. that's a huge discussion uh, in Germany. Was it was it one of the difficulties when? when Dortmund put themselves in a bad position financially. So then, I, I mean, I love the idea of the stability. Mm. But even, you know, at my time at Gladbach, I was able to see the commercial success that Bayern had. And so in this system, they are almost too successful for the rest of the league. And I know that's not... And it's like in Spain, you know, yeah. where it's Real Madrid and, and, and Barcelona. That's, um, yeah, that's a great competition. And we need that in the German Bundesliga too. So if you, maybe, you abolish 50 plus one, so investors can have the majority on the club. So maybe that could change, you know, the system. But to our, dis no, it's definitely, to our disadvantage. It's definitely so, to your disadvantage. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah but, but we are very open because we need this um, competitive right. balance in the Bundesliga. Yeah, is that, is that, again, to your point, is that difficult because you're thinking, look, We've been so commercially successful. How do we punish ourselves <laughs> to help everybody else catch up? <laughs> yeah, but that's what I said before. We are very open yeah. to all kinds of, of, of discussions because, you know, we are not alone. You know, um, I think football is developing more and more international. Football is developing more and more globally, you know. But nevertheless, you have your domestic league. Yeah. And, you know, from a promotion point of view and from a marketing point of view, um, your domestic league must, must be very strong to promote the league all over the world. And what we need is stars. And I think that's what we have in the, 
in the, in the, in the German Bundesliga, world-class players. And on the other hand, what we need is, you know, excitement, excitement uh, for, the, for the championship. And you think that's been... These maybe, last... maybe, maybe this year. Yeah, because, you think so? Yeah, maybe. Because I think uh, not only Dortmund, sure. it's, also, it's also Leipzig. You sure. know, they have a very good team. Dortmund has a very good team. They um, bought a lot of good players. Um, so maybe it could be very, very uh, exciting Bundesliga this season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.